Okay guys, so let's go over these triple beam balance notes. So we're gonna be measuring mass with the triple beam balance. Mass is a measurement of how much matter is in an object. It is measured using a triple beam balance, which is what this is right here. Um, it is called a triple beam balance because it has three beams or bars with weights called riders, which slide across. Mass is measured in grams. So steps for measuring mass using a triple beam balance. With a pan empty, here's the pan right here, um, move all the riders to the left and make sure the pointer is lined up with the zero mark. That's this right here. If it is not, you're gonna have to calibrate the balance by turning the screw under the pan. Place the object you want to measure on the pan. Uh, slide the largest beam, hundred, so that's gonna be the one that's in the center here. You're gonna move that across the beam because there's little notches in it, like so. So you're going to um, slide it across the beam one notch at a time until the beam drops, goes down here. Because when you place this object on the pan, it would go up, all right? So you're going to move it, move it until it drops below. And then you are gonna back it up just one notch. Then you're gonna slide the medium rider, the tens, and that's gonna be this one right here, across the beam one notch at a time until the beam drops. Boom. When it does that, you're gonna move it back one. Then you're gonna carefully move the smaller rider, that's the one in the front here, once to the right until the pointer lines up with the zero mark on the balance. So this is more like fine tuning that once. Add the three numbers that the riders point to. Make sure that the decimals are all lined up when you add. Grams are a unit of measurement and are represented by a lowercase g. All right, so this is what our triple beam balance looked like. So we would add up its 353, so 353, but we can't forget about that. That's 0.5 grams. There's no such thing as half in metric. We wouldn't write 353 and a half grams. You would write that as 0.5. So let's practice a couple of these. So uh, if you'd like to pause um, and try a couple of these on your own and then start it up again to um, check your answers. All right. So when I look at this, 200, zero, and like one, two, three, four, five. So maybe 205, 200, whoops, let's back this up. 200.5 grams, because it's not at the one yet, so it's not going to be 201. Okay, it's 201.5, 201.6. So let's take a look at this next one. I have 153, 153.0. Point. And then I would come and I would look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. Grams. Let's take a look at this one. No hundreds, 45. So it's going to be 45 points. One, two, three, four, five. And it's halfway between five and six. So that would actually be 0.55 grams. All right, so um, pause this video and do these next two on your own. When you have them finished, I would like you to restart and check your answers, okay? Alrighty, here we go. We have 510, 504. So 514 grams, 510 and four. And it is right there on that four, so there are no tenths. All right, let's take a look at this one. 200 
and eighty five. Two hundred and eighty five grams. How'd you do? All right, let's take a look here. Six hundred thirty three. Let's see. Oh, right on the line. Six hundred thirty three grams. All right, so pause and do the next two, please. All righty, here we go. Let's check those. I like to circle what I've got, my whole numbers. I like to circle my whole numbers. 366, and then what is that going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. 366. Point six grams. This one, I do not have any hundreds. I have 79.12, so two grams. Let's take a look at this one. This one's always interesting. So 300, 100, six. So 300 and 100 is 400. So 406, 406, and it's right there on the line. So there are no tenths, so 406 grams. Let's take a look at this one. 900, zero tens, and two. Right on the line. So my answer is 902 grams. All right. Now, let's take a look at a little bit more. 153. So 153.6. Go ahead and do the next couple ones on your own. So let's check in to see how much we have. Is this the exact same one that we had? No. All righty. 902. This is a repeat, isn't it? 902 grams. So this is exactly what we just did, huh, guys? Just about. That's okay. All right, gives us more practice. 300, 406. I'm sorry about this guy's being a repeat. Okay, so no 100s. We have a 70 and a 9. And one, two. So 17.2 grams. 366. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 366.6 grams. All right, so make sure you are able to um, read a triple beam balance. You're always going to start with the hundreds, then add the tens, then add the ones, then add the tenths. So we can add those notes down here at the bottom. So you are going to add your hundred. And then you're going to add your tens. And then you're going to add your ones. And then you're going to add your tenths. Okay, so it will go in this order. If you've got three here, this will be the first one you look at. Then this will be the second one you look at. And then this will be the third one you look at. And then also if there are any tenths. Okay. All righty. I hope this helps. This will be part of what you are going to also need to do for your homework tonight.